Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video and today we are going to speak regarding Craig as an epic hero which has very interesting playstyle and we will be discussing every single detail which is connected to the Craig in the Call of Dragons. First of all, in order for us to understand how we can use Craig uh, in a perfect way, we need to understand what kind of skills he has and how synergistic they are to each other. First of all, as always, first skill is like one of the most important skill skills, which is damage factor skill. And actually, this is like one of the best epic hero uh, skills in the game. Simply because, um, as you understand, like epic heroes doesn't have high damage factors on their skills. And Craig actually has uh, just like legendary hero's first skill, like approximately 1400 or even more uh, damage factor on its main skill. And also it is dealing damage to two nearby legions, which is also uh, is always a good idea. Regarding like second skill, it's again buffing like our damage factors first skill, skill damage dealt bonus 10% and march speed. 20% uh, March speed is always a good thing to have as a damage dealer also Craig is a flyer so you can move around the terrains pretty easily so March speed will be useful like in any situations during the battlefield regarding like third spell third skill it's like normal skill and it has like attack bonus and defense bonus has like these stats these skill uh, bonuses i have seen on many different heroes this is nothing really special but always good to have right uh, but regarding like four skill uh, like building frenzy uh, this is like a useless scale skill in order like if we are comparing it to the battlefield skills or any other skills uh, this is like one weakness for the craig but uh, Craig's first skill and second skill is so good that people are just forgetting that this skill is bad. Uh, regarding like Awakened skill, uh, simply again more damage factor on the uh, Craig's skill set. Uh, also dealing uh, damage to two nearby legions, which is always a good idea. As you can read like 600 damage factor and uh, 300 to two nearby legions, like 900 damage factor while you have uh, on a first skill 800 at first and then two nearby legions 300 and then uh, giving them bleed which gonna last three seconds and it will deal to uh, 100 damage factor in total it will be like one of the highest uh, damage factor skills in the game and uh, this is like all about the synergy of the Craig. Like you are dealing skill damage, so every, everything which can work with like rage accumulation speed uh, will be great for the Craig synergy. Uh, regarding like hero pairs where Craig can be useful, I think there is like two main options. One is of course Thea. Uh, simply because uh, Thea is also flyer, and uh, Thea is giving. Uh, like skill damage uh, dealt bonus 15% which is pretty high more than Craig, Craig has 10% so 10% on Craig, 15% on uh, Thea's main skill, also march speed is always great you can see that defense bonus and attack bonus uh, also is here on Thea so like Thea is helping Craig to stay alive, to be a mobile uh, while Craig is uh, dealing a lot of damage uh, regarding like second hero pair for Craig, I think it would be Freigar, but in my opinion Thea Craig is much better than Freigar and uh, Craig, but Freigar and Craig is pretty decent too. Like regarding like synergies, it's pretty simple, like both of them are marksmen, which means a marksman tree will always work uh, for a marksman legion. Uh, but in order, like, if you're gonna look at the uh, skills of the Freigar and what kind of synergy it will help, it will have uh, towards uh, uh, Craig. Uh, there is not much besides uh, like rage accumulation speed is great, march speed bonus is uh, great, and of course uh, Craig and Freigar both of them are marksmen. So, uh, which means you're gonna you will be using with this hero pair marksman units, not flyers. 
so like marksman unit physical attack and normal attack crit damage bonus is like always a fine thing to have and also like Freyguard's awakening skill has a great uh, damage factor by itself too so like this is in my opinion two best uh, hero pairs for Freyguard uh, we won't gonna go in deep talks regarding talents because simply because uh, I think Craig is better on a secondary hero, not primary, and as everybody should already know, uh, secondary hero's talents does not really matter, but if we still want to uh, speak regarding like talents, if you will decide to still uh, choose to play with Craig as a primary, of course I will be speaking about that too, uh, and like talent for Craig is very simple, simply because engineering skill, you shouldn't put any point here, like go full max on marksman uh, tree and go until the half on the mobility, like I would suggest to not spend any points on engineering because like you aren't gonna be using Craig as an engineer, uh, Craig is a uh, battlefield uh, fighter and uh, also very good with a lot of skill damage and with a lot of mobility so if you will still decide to run Craig as a primary I think this is the main way of playing it uh, as a primary hero uh, regarding like uh, if you will still decide to play as a primary you want to have artifacts and there is like couple of choices regarding artifacts for Craig and I think it's same for any marksman uh, hero doesn't matter it will be um, like Craig, it will be uh, Gwenwin or a, any legendary marksman, anything what's gonna be legendary for marksman uh, and anything what's gonna be good for marksman legendary will be good for Craig. But uh, still, let's say uh, regarding uh, epic uh, uh, artifacts, there is two choices, Bombfinger, which is mainly about skill damage, uh, nothing more, nothing more special about it, and yeah, also like two seconds stun uh, is like fine thing to have. But in my opinion, in general, better artifact for epic tier for marksman is Heart Piercer. But for Craig, I think Bombfinger will be a lot, lot better simply because Craig uh, is like. Uh, Damage, skill damage factor hero and Bonflinger is like only thing that it does is skill damage factor also uh, like it will be better if you will be uh, playing with Craig and Freygar for example because it's gonna give you marksman unit attack now regarding legendary ones I'm not gonna talk more like in deep uh, deep dive regarding artifacts because not all artifacts can be gettable from the chests but from what I what we have right now like shadow blades is like always a good thing because of high damage factor uh, and all like always like legion attack and marks and unit attack, attack is always fine and other than that we don't have any more like um, damage dealer artifacts for a marksman unit on a legendary section that's why I will not go in like in deep dive regarding artifacts uh, regarding like war pits, which kind of war pits should be uh, fine for Craig? Well, I have already done war pit guides one by one, but uh, choice is pretty simple. I think any flyer, uh, like especially Berserker Frederick, will be fine for um, Craig. Uh, also, like Berserker Frederick has a uh, skill which can like, like reduce the deputy cast rage skill and it will deal a more damage, like its skill damage factor. Uh, main skill so like I think uh, Frederick will be totally fine for uh, Craig just simply because it's flying too and Craig likes to fly around the map um, that's like what I wanted to say regarding Craig like how to you can get Craig it's pretty simple from quests and like in general epic heroes are easily gettable in the game uh, that's what I wanted to say regarding Craig because I think Craig got very popular in season 2 we are already uh, at the end of the season 2 and a lot of people are still, a lot of even T5 players are playing with Craig so that was like my main idea why I should share my uh, point of view regarding the epic hero I, think, I hope you liked the video, uh, thanks for watching, uh, bye bye